Hello, welcome and good evening and today I want to show you my new soldering station. Um, as you remember I started off with this thing here, uh, which is like these all-in-one kits, uh, 20 bucks on, on Amazon and I used it for one and a half years. It comes with a simple soldering iron, some replacement tips uh, desoldering pump, some pincers, some uh, solder, a little stand which is not very useful. This is some solder I bought later, as well as the wick, and some tools for lifting ICs and poking holes and scratching and scraping and stuff like that. And this got me started, this got me through the first one and a half years of this hobby. and. I would still recommend this for beginners because you can check out the hobby without spending too much, you have everything you need and you can actually do quite a bit of stuff. So for example I sorted out the adlib card with that and it turned out working at least. Um, probably not the best iron in the world but you have uh, temperature control on this one uh, even if it's just a variable resistor here and it's probably not very accurate in, with the temperature but it works and even if you upgrade you have still all the tools that do come with it. But I now thought it was time to upgrade and I read about the TS100, uh, this little high-tech pen, soldering pen which has a microcontroller inside the, the handle and everything and a nice OLED display. But I thought, yeah, well, that's nice, but maybe I want something more modular and more standard. And it turns out uh, on eBay, not so much on Amazon, I think, but on, at least on eBay and AliExpress, you get these here. Um, this is one of many. I think this is also some kind of open source design. Uh, this one is here from KSGR. And it's called a T12 soldering station. T12 is actually a type of Hakko tips, so Hakko, the real brand, the blue and yellow brand of soldering stations. They make good stuff, but their main stream range of soldering stations is like 200 to 400 euros, and that's still too much for my hobby. So I was going for way below 100 euros. And this here is, um, the whole set is, I think, roughly 50 euros. And you get a bunch of um, tips with that. And the T12 is basically the style of the tip. And I'm going to remove this here. Um, when you order this, you can choose between different kind of uh, these, what do you call it, pens? I don't know. Um, I chose this one because it's similar to the one that I had. and. You have this nice bulge so that you can't slip over to the hot part. And this is a kind of T12 tip. And this is actually the heating element as well as a, a thermocouple, I think, that measures the temperature so that it's actually very accurate. And they are of decent quality. Uh, I got this with, I think, five or so different tips but um, mostly I'm gonna going to use these kind of um, tips here I don't know what they're called I think these are BC style tips in hacker terminology because I read online that these are uh, the most useful instead of the conical tips that I was using and I must say after a few tries I do like it so what do you get in this set so I picked this blue and yellow uh, thing, pen, whatever, and you will insert one of your tips, whatever you currently need, into this thing. And it will go as far as this. And then you have this uh, uh, little tube thing with the uh, nut here, which will hold it in place. There's some other pens available which are like quick release if you have to switch tips in between all the time but I don't I don't think I ever will use that 
And if so, then I can even buy a new one. Uh, even a proper hacker one if I want it. I want to spend more money. And yeah, this is also, you can even plug this into a hacker soldering station if you want. The cable is very nice. It's uh, silicone, so uh, you can't burn this thing with the iron. Setup is very easy. You just plug this in. There's only one way that it goes. And just tighten the screw. And you're done. I think this is um, the 250 volt version. I think you have to pick while ordering. It has a fuse. It has none of the markings. This is really Chinese stuff. So you won't get any CE or any other stuff on there. But um, they are very solid. Uh, I've seen tests of those online. And uh, yeah, it would be nice if we had these as well. Properly not via AliExpress here in Germany. But then probably the price will double or something. So um, the tips that you get vary. There's like chisels and knife like things. And one that I did get uh, was this one here. I just open it up. So you basically you just search for T12 and then the shape, the shape here is D24. And you can look up on the um, Hakko site, for example, which which ones are available. And this is another one of these uh, cut type things, but it has a little well inside, which is nice. You can take up some solder with it especially good for SMD soldering and stuff. So I haven't tried that yet, but I think this is a useful tip to have. All right, so um, what does this thing look like when it's going to be turned on? Just plug it in, power it on, and you will see it booting up straight away. So there's a nice OLED display. It will say which tem temperature it is set at, how much power it uses of the power that the um, power supply can give. And you see it already reached the 350 degrees that it's set to. And it's also saying um, how much voltage it's using. And will optionally give a low um, voltage warning. This year, I think the microcontroller's temperature, if it's overheating or stuff, um, should also be a warning. The whole thing um, has a couple of functions. First of all, if you don't go in the menu, you can um, twist it to the left to go into standby mode, which is uh, a set settable temperature here. It's 200 degrees Celsius. It will also automatically go into standby mode and you can see that the temperature here is falling. At the moment, I've set this to 200 degrees because I think that's a reasonable compromise. And you can either twist it to the right to leave standby or just pick up your um, pen and it will go back to 350 degrees in a matter of seconds. Because there's, you can hear this, there's a clickety clickety switch in there um, and that's how it detects if it's, yeah, um, basically in the stand or not. And you can also um, twist it to the right for a short boost to 400 degrees, but this also can be set. Alternatively, if you want to set the temperature to a different setting, you just press the wheel on the front and then you can set whatever temperature you like. The range is 480 degrees Celsius to a minimum of 150 degrees. But I think 350 is a good compromise for soldering. And if you want to go into the menu, you just press and hold. And it has a bunch of options. Uh, standby, here you can set uh, what the wake up mode will be. Shake means if you pick up the pen and the switch is triggered, then it will uh, wake up. Time to stand uh, standby will be five minutes. Uh, that's, I think, the default was half an hour, but I thought that was way too long. And one minute is way too short, so five minutes uh, without really moving this thing, and it will go to standby and power down a little so uh, that it doesn't get overly hot. I think that's, but you can set it to whatever you like. And the temperature you can also set 200 is like nice that it, the iron is preheated, but doesn't like uh, cool off too much. 
Um, same goes for sleep. There's a sleep mode. After 30 minutes, this will go into sleep, where it powers down the iron completely. Um, boost, similar, uh, 50 degrees boost if you twist to the right for five minutes. Um, there's options for cold end adjustment. I'm not really sure what this is about, but I think it's probably to overcompensate for a cold tip in the beginning. I don't know. Haven't read up on that, but I didn't change it anyway. And you can um, enable the different tips. I guess there's some kind of audio detect for that. I'm not really sure. Um, I haven't touched it yet, so that would be interesting to know what it's about really. Maybe you can leave something in comments if you know that. Stepping is like uh, the increments for the temperature. You can set a password, uh, enable a screensaver for the little OLED display because they are prone to burning, I guess. And you can turn on or off the buzzer if you like want to have it more quiet. But the beep is actually not that loud and not that annoying. Uh, voltage, yeah, voltage on the displays. You can set it on or off. And also the low voltage protection that you get a warning. The power on mode, when you power it on, it will be in either in running, sleep, or standby state. Uh, usually you want to have it running because when you switch the thing on, you probably want to start work. There's also stuff for desoldering and pump, but since I don't have any desoldering pump attached to this, I didn't change anything. Language, yeah. Um, Chinese or English? Here you see it's a true Chinese device. It also has a date and time uh, with some with confirm. If you press confirm, you can set the date and time. So uh, actually, it doesn't seem to keep that very well. I just set that. But after powering down, or at least unplugging, it forgot about that. But I don't even know that I would want to have this on this device, so not sure. System info, here you see the hardware version and the software version. Uh, there are firmware upgrades available. I think you will have to open up the device and there's probably some, some programming header or something. And this is, I think, uh, system defaults. Yeah, but that's basically that. Um, the soldering itself is Decent, I can't complain. I won't, uh, I mean, you will see that in upcoming videos when I use this. I used it a bit uh, on the on the snark barker, but uh, it arrived too late for the project in its entirety. Um, but I um, put the DB15 connector on with this thing and it worked well. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. And it's quick, it's amazingly quick. And it's well built, the, the case is nice. Um, and I say for around 50 bucks, this is really one of the best things that you can get. And you can, it's modular, you can, you can put other stuff on there. You can upgrade to original hacker tips if you want to. And yeah, I do like it and uh, you will see more of it in the coming videos, I guess. So thank you so far for watching. I will put some links in the video description where you can buy the stuff. Uh, We'll try to figure out some sellers on eBay and on AliExpress or some generic search terms. There's also other companies, uh, not only this brand here, selling basically the same thing. And this took, I don't know, four to six weeks to deliver, but that's a typical uh, AliExpress thing, I guess. It takes quite a while. So if you're in a hurry, this is not for you, but uh, other than that, um, I think makes up for pretty pretty decent soldering station. So thank you so much for watching. Please do share, like and subscribe if you like this and uh, see you next time.